Angel, these are... You must recognize them. I don't think anyone blamed you. They just accepted their fate. Yeah, I see. Then I'll have to do my part as a survivor. I won't be able to achieve anything grand, but thank you, Angel. It took a load off my mind. retrieved the memory sticks from the ruins. But there were far more dead people than there were intact memory sticks. T treasure Treasure. My treasure. I won't lose it. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. I'm sorry I ran away. I'm sorry I survived. Eve. Are you positive we can trust her with the memory sticks? I could hold on to them, make sure they reach Mother Sphere, but I think she'll be all right, Adam. All right. If you insist. Treasure. Precious treasure. Mother Sphere's blessings mean nothing to me. I'm all about treasure. There really was an energy source. G give it to me, Angel. Now, we had an agreement. You're supposed to give it to me. An angel shouldn't lie. Give it to me. Do you hear yourself? How can you be so entitled? Hey, there's a fusion drive at the back of the store. Strange, isn't it? Wait, wait. You, you can't just... Come on. Let's find out what's really going on. What's this? Well, you see, she's my wife. She died a long time ago. Your wife? Then you should have said so. How could I? I wasn't about to take any chances. Not that it mattered in the end. Well, that's all there is to it, Angel. I may talk big, but I'm still only human. Well. I guess he's not such a bad guy after all, huh? You can have the fusion cell. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Angel. Angel, you're here. The fusion cell is being put to good use. So, what do you need? Hello, Angel. Hi, Kaya. How's the junkyard doing? I'm doing all right, thanks to you. It would be nice if only my sister would come back soon. You're here, Angel. What about my sister? Kaya. Well... There isn't an easy way to say this, so... Take this. Oh! This... This is a memory stick. That means... Yes. I took out an Atiba called Behemoth, and retrieved it from the area. Please consider her death avenged. Avenged, huh? Is... is that what it is? Actually, I figured this would happen. I knew my sister couldn't have survived like that. I was just hoping for the best. But I guess all I was doing was just denying reality. Kaya. It, it's okay. The important thing is that I have my sister's memories back. Her memory will live on 
in me, running our establishment together. Thank you, Angel. Please, come back again soon. This is... <laughs> yes. Those people. They claim that Oracle is nothing but a glorified dictator, using the power of the Natibas to subjugate his people. But Oracle is the prophet. He saved the people here. Right, sure. But more and more people are starting to doubt even Mother's fear. Let alone the prophet. People go to such lengths searching for the truth, but still fail to look right under their noses. Hmm. I'd better look into this. Yeah, I agree. Oh, sister, it's you. I hope your day has been peaceful. As for myself, I'm being plagued with agonizing thoughts. Oh yeah? What's wrong? Well, I believe Mother is testing me. As I told you before, I thought my shameful brother's fate had been sealed. But I never imagined I'd be given news about him from a scavenger. You're saying he's alive? Yes, sister. Or rather, he was last seen alive. Life is a blessing from Mother Sphere and the Network, and I am forever grateful for this. But my brother Felix has become a sinner. This sacrilege I cannot just forgive and forget. But only Mother can judge and punish. Sister, no scavenger can find missing people while evading the monsters of the Great Desert. You are my only hope, Angel. Please. Well, all right. I've already involved myself in this. Oh, Mother Sphere. You have given someone in need a ray of hope. I will send you the location data I purchased. May Mother guide you. Did you get it? I knew I was right about you. The body call first. Well, look at you, miss. It's for the people of Zion. No need to stare daggers at me. Here you go. Where did you get this from? What did you do? Don't tell me you went after another airborne squad member. <laughs> no way. I wouldn't dare try to kill an angel. That's all you're getting out of me. Another important bit of info. There's always a secret to trade. Until next time, then. Remember, I'm always open for business.
Good to see you, Elaine. Hello. I much prefer yes. What's That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of activity. All right, let's take a look at some of the stories of the citizens. some small shrimp from Clyde. This request sounds fun. so often to this humble little spot. Oh, Enya, your singing more than makes up for the shabbiness. It does? Oh, Eve, if you can stop by and see Sue on your way. Well, shouldn't he be okay from now on? I was just kidding. I guess it wasn't funny. in the great desert. Now, there's no one there. Everything is weathering away with the sand. You may find what you're looking for among them. I suppose this is my client's treasure. A custom nano suit. So, Francis's brother was hiding in these ruins. It isn't that unusual, Eve. But I guess it is pretty remarkable to have survived this long, coming from 807. Let's just deal with the fanatical brothers and be on our way. Okay. Mean the voice of truth. How considerate. 
he left coordinates. Well, I suppose we'd better follow him. Is that a drop pod? That's half buried under the sand. I gotta hand it to him. How did a cultist even find this in the first place? This voice brought him all the way here. Whose voice could it have been? Whoever it was, they must have been pretty easy on the eyes. It says he went to Abyss the Foire. I'll track him down. This person. It's hard to imagine someone in their right mind saying that. It's all mumbo jumbo. But I gotta admit, I respect that determination. Wait. There's something here. Doesn't your airborne squad use this recording device? You're right. Let me check. This is no good. The data's corrupted. Yeah? And here I thought we'd found something useful. Well, I guess this is it. Let's get going. We still need to report back to Francis. Okay. May your memories live on. Forever. This person. Wandering around the Great Desert is asking for trouble. A lot of it. There's a reason Zion makes a point of banishing its criminals. Still, something is strange about this. Who or what could have done this? Probably a Nativa. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Guess it doesn't really matter either way. That's true, but in any case. It says the data chips were flowing away using drones. I'll search the area.
I expected as much. These people risked their lives for this. I'm not sure what they were thinking. Well, whatever they were thinking, not everything is black and white. It's all open to interpretation. Well, there's nothing more to investigate. Hey, if we're heading back, why don't we visit that restaurant again? It's possible we could have missed something. This is the fish for the client. Hmm. But I'll be... Those made with fish must contain something that jogs memory. What's an angel doing here? How are you involved? I know those people never made it back from the Great Desert. I see. So that's what happened. The truth can never be concealed. Have you not noticed something's wrong with Oracle? People settle for order and feign ignorance. What do you mean? Are you sure everything you believe is true, Angel? That is all I can say. But remember, next time, you might end up in our shoes. You sure give me strength. Since you seem to come by so often, I'll try to cheer up. The feeling is mutual. Seeing someone who works so hard gives me strength too. Well, I must say, I'm very grateful. What do you think you're... <laughs> Sorry, I mean, are you actually cooking? For what reason? reason. Everything doesn't have to have a reason, you know. You had no reason to help me, but you did it anyway. Yes, you're right. Scraps, parts, energy, you name it. Everybody's fighting for scraps. Let's do this later. Oh, we don't need this now. This is just how things are. We've given up the finer things in life. If all we're living for is bare necessity, how are we any different from the machines? I'm just trying to hold on to the past, that's all. Well, it must be nice. I'm surprised. All this time I thought you were just a freak. <laughs> I must have some life in me after all, if I managed to surprise an angel. See you later, Barry. I hope your determination never dies. You got it. Take care, angel. I'm in no mood to continue working. Okay, I'll be back. Angel, hold on just a minute. Huh? Aren't you curious why I don't want to work? You can ask. And why do I need to know? You're right. I guess it's not that interesting. But please, could you just uh, allow me to explain myself? I thought talking about it would make me feel better. Go ahead. On the night of the full moon, there will be a memorial service in honor of the fallen sentinels. The wine saved for the memorial service. It's all gone. Do you think it was stolen? No, no, I, I may have just had a sip or two every night. 
If I don't get more wine in time for the memorial service, the man might actually kill me. So, are you saying you want to have him killed first? No. Okay. You know about Patelos Plaza in 807? The old plaza that's flooded. If you could go there and bring me just three bottles of wine from the cellar, well, you would save my life, Angel. A life worth only three bottles of wine. I'll look for it on the way back. Welcome, sister. May Mother Sphere bless you. Do you have good news? I wish I did. Here. Felix's memory stick. No. What happened? It seems Felix was wandering through the Great Desert. Convinced he'd heard the voice of truth. He claimed that Mother Sphere was no god, and that he heard, saw, and felt the truth. I'm not sure if he had lost his mind, or if he was after something. It's a miracle I found his body. It cannot be. It might have been better if none of this had been revealed. He was mad. The words of a madman cannot be considered blasphemy. But... Why did Mother Sphere let Felix suffer such torment? And if Felix was indeed mad, then... Why would I come up in his last moment? Oh... Mother... Master of all knowledge... Why have you tasked me with such trials? Please... Forgive Felix. Please... Forgive me, as I pray. Let there be light again. Let there be light again. enough to find it. However... Oh, thank goodness! Please give it back to me! Yes, here. <laughs> huh? Oh, my baby! You finally made it back home to me. <laughs> It's unfortunate the memory was also badly damaged. Don't fret. No matter what you are, I'll always love you. Forever. Hey, Beatrice, right? Are you sure it was an Atiba that did it? Angel, is that you? I didn't know you were still here. Why are you asking the obvious? Do you... Are you doubting me? That trace... It doesn't seem as though Inatiba was responsible. You weren't there, Angel. You weren't there. I was. My baby was killed by Inatiba. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw it. Uh... I'll pay you, just like I promised. But I'd appreciate it if you didn't say such foolish things. Let's get out of here. Somewhere else. Where we won't be interrupted. This much is the data of the fish the client wanted. Good to see you, Digger. Hello. Good to see you again. 
I realize it's been a long time, but I never asked you what the name of your shop was. What is it? The name. I hadn't thought about that topic yet. Thank you for pointing this out. Perfect. Eve, I'll finish configuring the device now. Now, I just need your help with one last thing. What now? It's a simple task. I need you to enter the network code and activate the communication node. And I will be entering standby mode for the network connection. Right. If you insist. If anything goes wrong, it's not my fault. Understand? Your concern is appreciated. But I don't anticipate any serious problems. Okay. That's a relief. Only the network device was destroyed. So, how'd it go? I am still myself. I was unable to revert to IoT mode. However, nothing has changed. My hypothesis. Unfortunately, I am even more confused about what happened to me. Well, what were you expecting? Considering the nature of artificial intelligence, trying to find the reason why consciousness forms isn't going to help you decide whether you're human or not. I think Adam is right. Why don't you try something else? Maybe you could watch the citizens of Zion as they go about their lives. You haven't made much headway on your own. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your advice. I must prepare for my migration to try something new. you're getting ready to leave. Yes, I decided to take your advice. Good. I think that's a wise decision. Olivia. She must have come all the way out here for junk. Meeting an angel in a place like this. Lucky me. Actually, I was just about to head back to Zion. Did you find anything useful? Oh, I didn't come out all this way just to pick up junk. Then why? I deciphered a code that was intentionally hidden inside 807's map data. I decoded it, and this is what it gave me. 
wanderers will find their rest when the song of the siren reaches their ears. The siren they're referring to probably refers to the statue of a mermaid in Patelos Plaza. Long ago, there was a time where scavengers were actually called wanderers. It was like a code that was waiting just for me. So that's why I came here, to find rest, in spite of all the dangers. Did you ever find it? No, I gave up, because finding the siren was too hard with all the natibas around. Do you want me to take a look instead? I'd be so grateful. You should be able to find rest by activating the siren with this modified fusion cell. Leave it to me. You should return to Zion. Okay. Then I'll be waiting for you there. What are you doing here? You're not a scavenger. I came here to look for my partners because I heard the water had dried. I'm not seeing my partners. They should be here. Partners? A while back, I was part of a trio with a couple other scavengers. We all used to scavenge around 8 or 7 back in the day. One day, mixed in with some random junk we came across, we found a clue about possible treasures in the flooded square. We got our hands on some dive suits and swam our way there. The place was brimming with treasure not seen above ground. I remember how beautiful it was. But then, bad luck met good luck. Just like that. The others started having trouble with their dive suits. I... only I was able to escape. And your partners? They died? Yes. When I returned to Zion, I put the scavenger life behind me and became something of a recluse. Every night I was plagued by horrible dreams. Angel, please. I'd ask that you come to me immediately if you find any evidence of scavengers here. All right. I'll let you know if I find something. Look over there. It's our statue. You have the fusion cell that Olivia gave you? Yes. Let's put it in the fusion drive. building. It's all lit up. That building there is a motel. That's a place to sleep and recover, right? Yeah, that's probably why Olivia called it a resting place. The decor is somehow worse than I thought, even for cheap accommodations. But having somewhere to lay your head, it can give you the strength to stand on your feet. I agree. Still, I was expecting a little more. How disappointing. It's the corpse of a scavenger. Actually, wait. There are two of them. Seems like they were stuck here a long time. Yes. They swam here and then found themselves stranded. Ave, I found a journal. Baron said, he and his partners dove to find treasure underwater. It looks like their dive suits malfunctioned, so they waited here to be rescued. But 
Baron left, thinking they were already dead. Should we keep this a secret? I'm not sure. Do you think he'll be able to take it? Let's take what we can for now and go. the remains of your former partners. Here they are, the two lost memory sticks. If you lay their memories in the memory chamber, I'm sure forgiveness will find you in the end. Huh? Forgiveness? No, nothing I'm very grateful that my partner's memories were recovered. I'll be sure to keep them in a good spot in the memory chamber and pray there daily. I think I might finally be able to wake up from this nightmare. Angel, thank you so much. Eve, are you sure you're fine with this? The truth can sometimes be too much to bear for beings as fragile as humans. Maybe... maybe I'm the same. Lily, have you seen Adam? Uh, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So... Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Enya, seeing you stand and walk like this, I just... it's good to see. So... Just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then just left. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this. If it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, always.
should be useful for Zion. I can't just ignore it. I just heard the songs of the siren. I knew you could do it, Angel. Did you find the treasure? When the siren first started singing, everything started lighting up. There wasn't much after that. Is that really it? I suppose I thought a resting place would be more special. I'm sorry about all this. My misunderstanding just wasted your time. No, it's like Adam said. Having somewhere to lay your head can give you the strength to stand on your feet. Sometimes a place to rest is its own kind of treasure. Yeah, it's like how Zion is our resting place. I'll be going now. Let me know if you learn anything else important. Yeah, of course. Be safe. I brought the alcohol that you requested. Chateau Villa. Jacques Tournel? Naparonti? Oh, the perfect combination. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angel. Thank you, Angel. I owe you my life. You must attend the memorial service when the full moon rises. Okay. Send me an invitation. I need to go now. Mm. It's been ages since I've tasted a wine of quality. Just... just a little taste. Hello there. Good to see you, Digger. I'm glad that I moved here. It's all thanks to you, Eve. No, please. There's no need to thank me. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Enya. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. as the main character, Katakuri. What will be the fate of Katakuri? Will it be doom? Will it be honor? Or will it be love? 
We are holding a lottery to participate in the Eidos Opera Company autograph signing event. More details can be found on the Art Center social media pages. Let's change the subject. And yet, the people in your life have said that you've been over the moon to star in such a moving performance. Yes, that's correct. The moment I received the script, it just left off the page, and I thought, this is it. It was magical. I wondered what it would be like to be that evolution. How to see. And then it all just came to me so vividly. By singing, you mean beyond faith, right? How does it feel? It's become quite a sensation across social media platforms. Some people have said that after hearing the masterpiece, they've been hungry to find out who this Enya is. Madama Machine, main actress, artificial actress, Enya. You can never totally rely on analog information transmission sources. The person here does look really similar to our Enya. And she even has the same name and everything. From what I've gathered so far, it's like Digger said. The Enya here, and the Enya and Zion, are one and the same. Beyond Fate? Was that the title of the song? Let's see. So there was a performance here, and Enya was the lead singer. Is that about right? Our memory sticks are designed to store the most important information in the deepest places. The fact that that song was the only memory Enya had left proves just how important it is to her. that enough. I don't think you'll find anything else. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay then, let's go. Eve, 
How did everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you. About your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond fate? Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost, and accept what I have now. <sighs> it seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right. Take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Okay. Thank you, Eve. If I may, could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to. told me earlier, I would have prepared something for you. Prepare? Enya, it's okay. Your song is enough for me. 
Eve, thank you for everything. If I get any more data on other songs, you'll be the first to hear. Just you wait. I can't wait. Sounds like an opportunity I wouldn't miss. See you again, Enya. So this must be a halibut. So flat. It's funny. Fishing data could be useful for catching bigger fish. This is Chateau Moulac. Only one bottle left. Looks like you can start going to the spots with really big ones. You'll be able to catch them with the right mindset. All right, Clyde. I'll take your advice to heart. So, what brings the angel all the way out to the oasis today? Angel. I'm sure by now you've caught on to the importance of bait. Isn't that right? Of course. A bait can make a huge difference. Yeah, that's what we're gonna need if we're trying to go fishing for real. Except no substitutes. Maybe we can call it Fantastic Bait. Fantastic Bait? Yeah, and I only have one piece, so I can't sell it. Don't even know where I'd go looking to get more. If you manage to get your hands on that, I'll let you in on the location of the best fishing spot I know. All right. Fantastic bait, you say? Maybe I'll get lucky. Roxanne, do you have a moment? Of course. What brings such a cute angel fluttering on by today? I'd appreciate it if you stopped talking like that. <laughs> yes, yes.
Oh, honey, are you leaving? That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I guess jokes aren't really your forte. Ta-ta. It's the fantastic bait. as big as Adam's tetrapod. Interesting. It's amazing. It felt like I was trying to reel in a ship. Angel, that's great. I thought you were joking when you first got your hands on the fishing rod. Who's laughing now? Amazing. Gotta admit, you're good. Really? I didn't think you would say that. I suppose there's something more to it, given that you brought it up. <laughs> yes. Uh, didn't I tell you before? I'm gonna give you the fisherman's dream. You can think of it as my ultimate tool. The ultimate tool? Is it a rare fishing rod? Or a special reel? Or maybe... Do you have access to sonar technology? You should expect good things. This... This... This is a nanosuit. It looks like it's... Specifically designed for water. Is that right? I got it ages ago. I knew it was a nano suit from the tag, but it's not something I can use. Angel, this is something I think you should wear. Hmm. Wait, this. Hey! This. This is the fisherman's dream. Your ultimate tool. <laughs> the look on your face. I've stupefied the angel. If this isn't the ultimate tool, I don't know what is. <sighs> I certainly didn't expect you, of all people, to pull a prank like this. I'm flattered you thought so highly of me. Just be glad I didn't cut you in half for this. Understand?
Ah, Angel, you've come at the perfect time. Perfect time? If you're having trouble with wine again, you will have to take care of it. Well, it is about wine, but it's not my fault. What do you mean it's not your fault? It seems nothing from the wine cellar could be used. It's as sour as vinegar. Is that so? It's a shame, but there's nothing left in the cellar. Yes. I wasn't going to ask you to go there again. I'm trying to make wine myself this time. I know I might not make it in time for the memorial service, but I'm going to try. I'm not sure if I follow. You're going to make that liquid yourself. Exactly. I heard some scavengers spotted grapes on the wasteland, and I think we can trust their story. I'll tell you the location, if you could collect the grapes for me. All right. Something you can make on your own. Interesting. This must be the place where they saw grapes. Grapes? I saw that in the database. Yeah? Are you sure? Because I don't think grapes can grow in this environment. I'm starting to wonder what the scavengers could possibly have mistaken for a grape. Eve, look! Grapes! Just like the ones I saw in the database. Really? That's great. Grapes. Here, of all places. It just doesn't make sense. And besides, wines can't be made from any old grapes, you know? Okay, okay, Adam. Barry will do the rest if I deliver these. You're back. Yes. Here's what you asked for. So, there really were grapes. Uh, Angel, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? I did mention that it wasn't my fault, but... To be honest, I drank everything you brought back from the cellar. I didn't want to get in trouble, so I lied to you. I see. I'm not in the habit of lying. I couldn't stand the guilt. It won't happen again. Please forgive me. Well, at least you came clean. I'll let it slide. Just this once. Good luck with the memorial service. I'll try to stop by. Thank you so much, Angel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is she gone? Huh. I wonder what homemade wine tastes like. A sip won't hurt, right? 